Hello, this is Peter with another video. Today I'm going to be uncovering my Dwarf Orinoco. So um, a link to the video I did a couple of months ago. Um, you could see in that video that my Dwarf Orinoco actually collapsed with the uh, because of the cold weather we've had. We had a pretty uh, cold winter this year. Um, now it wasn't really a problem for the uh, the Moose of Bashu, uh, they're all still firm and upright. I'll link the video I did probably a few days before this one um, is released, um, when I uncovered the Moose of Bashu. I wasn't intending to uncover the Dwarf Orinoco just yet, um, but I've decided because the weather is going to be mild enough, uh, that at least for the next couple of weeks, um, it might benefit it getting some of the, uh, allowing some airflow to get to the um, what's remaining of the pseudo stem. So I'll take off this uh, plant jacket and frost cloth that we have underneath um, and we'll see what kind of damage we've got on the uh, pseudo stem. So yeah, if you didn't see my previous video, underneath the plant jacket I have this frost cloth um, that was wrapped around the pseudo stem. As you can see, it was uh, a fairly decent size. Um, but yeah, because it was just so cold, and these, uh, this type of banana is not as cold hardy as um, the Moose of Baju, for example. So yeah, the pseudo stem flopped over. Um, so I'll just see if I can remove that now. So yeah, you can see this top bit here is completely turned to mush. Um, now, let's have a look if, if any of this is going to be usable. It's very mushy here, but it is it's a bit firmer lower down. Uh, and there's a fair bit of mulch around the base as well. So there's a chance that uh, this pseudo stem has made it. What I'll do is I'll just, um, I'll just get some secateurs and I'll cut this top part off. Yeah, you can see look inside here. Um, just cut some of these outer layers which are obviously completely dead. all mush there, chop a bit more. Yeah. Still not looking good here. I think this has been killed down to the ground. What I might do is I might just leave it like this, um, just for a few days and see if it starts to push up a little bit. Um, but I'm not holding my breath. I think this has frozen all the way through. Um, which, yeah, wasn't surprising really. Uh, it was a very cold winter. If we had a normal or a milder winter, this may have survived with the protection I give it. Um, but yeah, we'll just see if this starts to push up in a few days time. Uh, I'll probably add that to this video actually. Um, and also, even if this does not come back, there's a chance that the, uh, the pups under the ground, which were starting to develop last year, might start to push up in spring when it warms up a bit more. Okay, so it's now the 31st of March. It's been 10 days since I cut the pseudo stem um, as you can see there hasn't been any any new growth or nothing has been pushing up in fact the very centre has collapsed further and it seems to be rotting away um, so this doesn't bode well um, I'm pretty, pretty certain this pseudo stem has not made it 
through the winter. Um, not really a surprise to be honest, it was pretty cold. Um, that's not to say that it's the end of the road for this plant. It is possible that it survived underground. Might just have a quick little dig around, see if I can find any signs of life. Yeah, I don't see any uh, any pups or anything coming up. And there was there was a couple of pups last year, which I was hoping might overwinter. Um, but yeah, it's not looking good so far. I'm just going to cover that back up for now. Um, it has been relatively mild um, this last ten days or so. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't think it's been warm enough really for this to start growing anyway. I've had temperatures generally above six or seven degrees at night, but then only getting up to about 10, 11, 12 degrees Celsius in a day, um, which is not really enough for the, uh, these types of tropical bananas to, uh, to grow. However, it's a little bit different within Musabashi. Um, if you've seen my Musabashi video, you'll have seen that the, uh, when I uncovered it, there was just this little bit of brown at the top, just about here, just poking out the top. You can see since then it's pushed, I'd say at least 15 centimeters or so, about six inches. And um, same on this main, um, main one here, this main sewer stem. Like I said, we've got at least a good 15, maybe 20 centimeters here, um, pushing out, so that's looking good. And again, the weather's looking pretty good um, for the Musabaju, so I think we should be uh, frost free for at least the next 10 days or so. But yeah, going back to the 12th Orinoco might might be the end of this particular um, this particular plant although I do have um, a pup that I separated before I uh, overwintered it that's been growing indoors so I could replace it with that one um, and I also have another larger dwarf Orinoco that was uh, I got from the same supplier when I got this one originally um, which is about well, I'd say big, a little bit bigger than this one was last year. Um, so I could always plant that one as well if no pups um, come up from this. Uh, so yeah, it's not the end of the world. Um, definitely worthwhile experimenting with it. And I guess we'll probably see in the next couple of months if any pups uh, come up. Um, if nothing comes up by probably may, I'll probably dig this up and see if, as, if there's any chance um, that the corn is still alive. But yeah, I'll uh, keep everyone updated with the progress. Um, if anything does happen, I'll do another video. Um, I'll also keep everyone updated with the other bananas I'm growing as well. Um, and yeah, if you remember, the, uh, there was another couple of bananas that I had planted in the ground that I removed um, during uh, just before winter so I'll get those uh, planted in the ground again uh, probably in a month or so time depending on the weather I'll probably start bringing those ones out the Manzano and the Rajapuri just to try and get them acclimatised on the patio first before I plant them but yeah if you uh, enjoy these videos don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.